Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new here, then hi, I'm Shane and I need to get a cheaper hobby. Today, we are going to be upgrading my Soma Pace Pulcher or a Panama Blonde Tarantula into a new enclosure, which is long overdue. So I went to my favorite reptile fish invert arachnid oriented <laughs> pet place today and I spent some money. Here's what I got. I got this Exoterra Nano Tall. You've probably seen me use these before if you've watched some of my previous videos. My mantis lives in this. My mantis originally lived in a lot of a bigger enclosure, but then I put it into one of these that I originally had for my spider. That's why I had to wait a little longer to rehouse him, but now we got one and it's happening today. I got a piece of cork bark that is a little bit too big, so I'm gonna have to saw it down. It's just a little bit too tall. But I really was trying to find a good one that the spider would be able to go into and, you know, really build a burrow like nest around. So we're going to take off about this much and it should be like about this much and it should be perfect. So I don't currently have an intention of making this enclosure bioactive, but I was thinking of turning my Pac-Man frog into a bioactive enclosure because it is set up with a false bottom and everything for one, which you don't see me do in my previous video, but I did end up switching it up. So I do have this, which I've been propagating from just a little leaf. Uh, so this is got some serious <laughs> vines on it. It needs to be planted. So possibly I will put that in. Also got this from that store. Look at this marbled pothos. And I honestly, don't think I'm gonna put it in an enclosure. <laughs> I might keep it for myself and put it in a hanging pot in my room because look at it, it's so pretty and big. But once it's a little bigger, I'll probably take a cutting off of it and start growing it in enclosures as well. I got this spider plant. It's wild, but I don't know, it just looked, it just looked really inviting, so I grabbed it. We got the plant I've been searching for everywhere and I can only ever find them at pet stores and that would be a wandering Jew. I have been looking for this everywhere. It does have like some brown spots and stuff, but what are you gonna do? It was $7.99 and I'm thinking I'll put this in the Pac-Man frog enclosure. I also grabbed this just cause it's a little bit shallow. I think it was like 29 cents. It's just a little bit more shallow than the bowl that I currently have in the spider's enclosure. So, and for $3.99, I grabbed this little Photonia. I don't know anything <laughs> about it other than it was cute and I want it. So we'll see if it grows and how it does. Now that my table is covered in plants, let's actually get started with the enclosure setup. I am just gonna use some Eco Earth since I'm not planning on making it bioactive or anything. All right, you will have to excuse the funky angles right now, but let's just go ahead and break into this. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so we gotta figure out what we wanna do with this. So what I've gone ahead and done is taken some special tape and ran it along the outside. As you can see, I ran it right here, so that's a little janky, but it's okay around the outside so that the spider cannot get its paws stuck in the screen. And I've left just a square open for ventilation. And this is not a permanent fix. I'm gonna have a piece of plexiglass cut here and holes drilled into it for ventilation. But just for now, I'm gonna just have it like this. Now I'm just judging how much of this I want to lop off. Alrighty, so I went ahead and lopped off the top of this and we are just going to put it in here and I'm gonna kind of bury it just so that it doesn't like knock over or anything. I'm just gonna put a little bit of moss in here and I did mean to get some leaf litter today because I'm out and I didn't and I'm feeling very silly about it so please do not comment. Honestly, I worry about that more for a terrestrial spider but just for this guy, I'm just gonna throw it in there anyway. And that is basically just about it. I'm gonna take this little bowl and this is gonna be the little water bowl. And we are ready to put the spider in. 
which I did not film because I was so stressed out and I was so worried that the spider was going to just run out of the enclosure and leave the chat because it's fast. And that almost happened the first time I rehoused it, so that's why we're putting it into its permanent enclosure right now. So I put it in, it actually went really, really well. I just took out its burrow because it had made an underground burrow. I just took out the whole burrow, put it in, the spider came out and I removed the burrow later. So now here's what it looks like. Also, it's been a little over a month since I filmed this video, so I can give you an update on how it's doing now at the end. in the morning. Here's the enclosure. Fun fact, I have not seen the spider since those videos I filmed you. I've literally not seen it. I know he comes out because I see webs around on the outside and he tracks water or dirt into his little water dish. I got him a new one. And if you look behind here, you can see that he has made or she a very serious web and nest back here, pulled moss in, everything, and it's looking good, but I do not ever see the spider. But yeah, definitely webbed her up real good. I got a little custom thingy made on Etsy. I'm gonna get one for my other tarantula as well. It's so cute. It's got his name. His name's Fizzgig from The Dark Crystal. And I will have a code for this Etsy shop soon so you can get a little deal. So I will let you know when I get that. I never filmed an outro for this video, so here I am months later editing. I'm uploading this video on a Friday, which is not normally when I upload, and I already uploaded this week, but I'm going away to see my boyfriend. I'm going to visit him at college. I'll be gone for a week, so I'm uploading a little bit early. I will upload again, hopefully, next week. But I am going to upload two videos on my second channel, one about trying to glow up before my little trip, which hence my hair being different, and the second one will be actually traveling because it's my first time traveling alone, and to see my long distance boyfriend, I'm so excited. So I'm going to have a video on my second channel about that, I'll put a link in the description, and if you want to check out my Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, it's all down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And if you feel like liking the video, you could. But either way, thank you so much for watching. I'm happy you're here. And I will see you hopefully next week.